So in this video I'm going to talk about six different techniques you can use for proofreading your PhD thesis. So the first thing that I would recommend is doing a search on Microsoft Word or whatever processing program that you're using. So this search should be for words like in order to, will be, uh, however, or to conclude, words like this that may crop up regularly or maybe too frequently. So if you have the word how, however about 63 times, it is probably a good idea to change it for other words that mean the same sort of thing. The second thing that I would recommend is creating a style sheet. So this ensures that your PhD is consistent. Throughout the last year of my PhD I started creating this. So I've, it includes things that you always want to do. So I've decided that when writing year 7 and 8 that's always going to be a number rather than spelled out in letters. Um, I'm always going to use the word peoples instead of students. Lists are always going to be in Roman numerical, numerals instead of numbers. I'm always going to write males and females instead of boys and girls. So this just ensures consistency because it's not really good to have half of it boys, half of it males. It's better just to stay consistent throughout. And then I also used this sheet and did this search and find function on Word and just changed everything. The third thing that I would recommend is to check your contents page all lines up with the correct numbers and check that all your tables and graphs and things are the same. So maybe your university wants you to always have the table headings underneath the table so make sure you stick to that and your fonts are always the same. The fourth thing that I would recommend is reading aloud. You probably won't want to read aloud your whole thesis because it might be about 100,000 words for some people but I have seen it recommended that you read aloud the introduction and conclusion and also focus on the abstract because these are really important bits and they are what the examiner will be focusing on. Reading aloud is good because you can pick up bits where it doesn't really make sense or where the sentence is too wordy and not really clear. The fifth thing that I would recommend is printing off your thesis. So my thesis, including the appendix, is 340 pages. So I printed it off, two pages per A4. So I did 170 pages and that cost me £14. It would have been cheaper to print at the university because they charge 5p per sheet of black and white but everything's closed because of coronavirus but I was pleased I managed to get this printed. This is actually the second one I've printed because I printed one before I gave it to my supervisors for the first time but I think this is probably going to be the final one that I have to print. But printing is really good because you pick up things that you won't necessarily see when you are reading things on a screen because I think when you're reading things on a screen you're more likely to skim read or not pay as close attention. If you want to be really thorough you can go along line by line with a ruler and really check your PhD. I would also recommend writing on the paper copy with different coloured pens. So I use this red pen to rewrite things or circle things or cross out things just because it's going to make it a lot easier when it stands out against the black ink. I would recommend using a different coloured pen for circling words that you need to change. Maybe just circle it and then come back to it later with a thesaurus and find an alternative. I use this pink pen for highlighting bits that I'd like to check, like check back on the reference when really is the correct reference or check that a fact is correct online. But I don't go and do this straight away because this will disrupt my flow of reading. But I'll come back to this and uh, I do that background research later on. The sixth thing that I would recommend is asking other people to proofread your work. This does not necessarily need to be someone in your field of study. So maybe a family member could proofread a chapter before you give it to your supervisor and they will be able to pick up how it flows or some very really obvious apostrophe mistakes. 
Your PSG supervisors will probably want to read your chapters as you go along. And they have recently read a first draft of the whole thesis and they now say it's ready to submit. So all this proofreading can feel like a lot of work, but it's good to get the finishing details right and it will hopefully make a good impression when your examiner comes to read your thesis. Thank you for watching and I hope this video helps. Bye. Uh, and I recommend using this red pen, not this red pen, I would recommend using a red pen or another colour that you, another colour that stands out. No, you want help. This is my third red pen. We don't want to go outside tonight.